I want to give a huge shout out to Odelphi for sending me over their new headlamp. Now this headlamp is pretty damn dope. It's actually one of the brightest headlamps I ever bought. Um, I'm going to turn it on right now so you guys can see. So boom, it's on. It also has a, a, a motion sense. So if I swipe my hand, I can turn it off, swipe it back, it turns it right back on. These lamps are freaking badass, bro. Also, they're pretty bright. They're 350 lumens. And uh, the battery time for you to even to charge it, like full, fully charge it, only takes 2.5 hours. And it can last up to 8 hours fully charged. Well, not fully charged. It can last up to 8 hours having it fully charged. But yeah, man, this this headlamp is freaking, like, it's badass, bro. Like, look at this. Like, <laughs> I don't know what headlamp company makes lights like these. So as you guys can see, it is it, it lights up pretty much everything. Like I can see, probably won't be able to see in camera, but in person, I can see everything. And this makes it 10 times easier for me to work on Dusty when it gets dark. So if you're interested on buying a Delphi headlamp, I'm gonna leave the link down below. Or you can go over to their Instagram, click the link in their bio, and go purchase yourself one and give it a shot. Probably the best headlamp you can ever buy, no lie. And I don't like lying to you guys, so trust me, this, this is just fire. Bro, I'm really about the GTO pickle chin that boy. Yo, yeah, respond playboys. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what I done to Dusty. Um, I was supposed to do a whole video on this whole setup that I did, and it didn't really work out. Um, I had got the wrong fittings. Oh, bro, just a lot of stuff. So now I'm here to you know make up for that video that I didn't film. So um, yeah, guys, I did a fuel return on Dusty. So yeah, I upgraded the fuel system on Dusty. She is no longer on stock fuel system. Um, I upgraded to 6AN feed line and I'm using the same feed line, stock feed line as my return. That's coming from the fresh looking hybrid racing fuel pressure regulator. Shout out to hybrid racing for the deal on that. I also switched my, I also switched my fuel pump from the d 65 c to a Walboro 450, a single, a single 450 because I'm not planning on running that much boost on the car. And, um, I'm not planning to make that much power too anyway so yeah i did upgrade just because i heard issues with you running a blank with the with the diesel works and i didn't want to have no problems with my car running lean and stuff so i just said screw it let's get a fuel cage cut it up but it was a whole process but yeah she's running strong um i'm in the process right now of getting tuned so yeah we're gonna hop into the tuning process because i do have a tune to upload and yost the goat want me to do a fourth gear pull so you know i might throw in the 360 camera on the back and uh yeah let's go have some fun but you know let me talk some more about the fuel well let me talk some more about the fuel return since you guys probably have some questions all right so as you guys can see i have a 180 degree 6 a.m um ptf ptfe fitting from race I guess that's what's called you guys can see that race tronic and it's going all the way back guys you guys can't see that but my flex fuel sensor is back there see if the camera can pick it up not really but yeah kind of the flex fuel sensor is back there I have a 3 8 fitting that's going to the top of the flex fuel sensor and a 3 8 fitting that's going to the bottom the bottoms the, how does the how do I have it around it the bottom is from the feed and then the top is going to the fuel rail. And then for the fuel pressure regulator, I have a 6 a.m. return going into the stock fuel line. I have an EFI fitting from Russell's fitting. And it's a 1 4 to a 6 a.m. And then, you know, of course, the fuel pressure regulator is a 6 a.m. to the 4. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for my setup. Uh, they say that's good for like 600 or something like that. So. I'm not even getting close to that. Even with a built motor, I don't even think I'm going to push it to six. But I say that now, and then I do it. But, um, yeah, if, if I ever do want to upgrade to get a bigger return, it's not that it's not that hard for me to do it. I just would have to get an adapter for the stock fuel cage, and then I'll just run a different line, running all the way back to the car, into the fuel cage, and boom, a bigger, a bigger uh, return. And, obviously, when you're doing a return, you always want it to be bigger than your feed. So my fees is 6 a.m. And if I was to do a return, it would be 8. But yeah, that's that's my setup for right now, you guys. I am on Alpha Ejection Clinic uh, 1300 cc injectors on 485. Um, I'm getting some like pretty decent gas mileage while I'm tuning in, which is, which is crazy. Like in the city, I get like 18 miles per gallon. And then on the highway, I think it's like 23. 
I can't complain. That's that's pretty freaking good. Alright guys, so I'm about to upload that tune that that boy Yo sent me. Yo the goat. So he just told me to do a fourth gear pull. It didn't really say uh through what RPMs. Since this car is pretty much already tuned, um, all we was doing is just making sure everything for the for the the flex fuel side, not flex fuel side, for the fuel return. I want to actually hit boost is solid because I was running a little wrench right after I did the uh, the fuel return. I was running pretty pretty damn rich. So he just uh, he's just adjusting the fuel for like high RPMs. I guess I don't really know. Um, yeah. So we're uploading this tune right now. So I might as well tell you guys the plans. Bro, I look so dark in this car, but I might as well tell you guys the plans for Dusty. I am planning on building the trans. Uh, I do want to do it during this year because I do want to have this car at least running like 4, 410, 420 horsepower. And, you know, I don't really beat on my car. I just want to have that horsepower in case like a car pulls up on me. I won't have to, you know, barely beat him. I could gap him. But you know, these new these new cars that are coming out, they're like so fast already. So um yeah. But 390 is pretty nice in this car, I'm not gonna lie. Um I spin a lot, so once I already know once I up that power and I do a pull, I'm just gonna be spinning even more. But uh, yeah, bro, I spin first, second, third, and I grip up fourth if the tires are cold, of course. If they're warm, I'll probably spin all through second, grip third, grip fourth, you know. But yeah, bro. It's crazy. I'm kind of, kind of like excited for this process. Um, not excited to drop my trance in the future though. I hate, I hate doing trance work. Even though I'm, I should be able to do it because I'm gonna be like, like be at like, uh, like a shop. So I should be able to have a lift and stuff, so it'd be easier. But doing it in the garage or doing it outside is, is terrible. All right, so I, dang, can't even see my face, boy. Put the hat like this. Nah, I'll keep it like that. All right, so 360 camera's on, everything's on. Tunes uploaded. Everything looks solid. Let's go do that one pull.
perfect, you know, turns out smooth. I thought about ending the video right after that, but uh, I'm gonna do a little couple like daily driving dialogues to send Yosh so you can see what's going on with the car. But yeah, it's just running too rich. Sadly, I was really hoping to get a pull in. guessing this is where I'm at off the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. Head to the merch site www.zubigarage.com to cop some merch. And I'm also gonna be selling some cool stuff on there, like for you know the knife jams. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um yeah, until next time, your boys out. Peace.